Today I'm Horner Sunday Kitchen. We're having fettuccine alfredo, chicken fettuccine alfredo. Got some fettuccine noodles. All you need is some olive oil, some heavy whipping cream to make the alfredo sauce, and then a little bit of garlic, two or three cloves of garlic, some Parmesan cheese, some, of course, some chicken breast. You're gonna have to cut that up. You're gonna have to grill that. I'm gonna put it on the cast iron pan because the cast iron pan gives it some great flavor. And if you feel a little, you know, a little crazy, you can saute some mushrooms, which we probably will today, and add some spinach to it. So I think we're gonna do that today on Horner's Sunday Kitchen. This is an episode you don't wanna miss. This is an easy meal, quick and easy, but it's impressive. So you don't wanna miss it. Stay tuned. First thing we're gonna do, we got the, the water heating up for the fettuccine noodles. And then I have the oil, the olive oil. I put about a, I, I'd say about half a cup of oil in here. So we're gonna add the garlic to it first. And of course I have a, gar, a little garlic press here. Uh, it's not the best garlic press in the world. So I actually have four cloves of garlic in here. Um, and by the time I press it out, it only turns into two or three. So there's a lot of wasted garlic inside of here, but we're gonna, we're gonna squeeze it in there and saute it, okay? Saute it, make sure you don't have any water that it's gonna get in there because you don't want water in your oil. But then you just scrape this off, all right? So the, the, the garlic, oh, I can smell it already. Make sure you don't burn the garlic though. Have your whipping cream, heavy whipping cream standing by. Let that go a little bit. You don't wanna to add too much garlic. Um, because it will overpower the taste. It really will. Uh, but yeah, just let it get a little bit golden brown. As you can see, the, uh, the garlic's getting a little bit golden brown. And then start adding, up, adding the heavy whipping cream. This is one of the easiest things to make. And people buy it in a jar. I just, I don't understand. Uh, it's so much better if you just buy the heavy whipping cream and make it yourself. It's so much better. You don't have that manufactured taste to it. Um, and it's just, this is it. This is it, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of olive oil, some heavy whipping cream, and, and some Parmesan cheese. That's it. You can even grate your own Parmesan cheese or you can buy it pre-grated or, or whatever, you know? So, and this is, this is a easy, quick meal. It only takes, as, you can get this done in the time it, it takes to boil the noodles. I mean, really, seriously. So, and it's so easy, so easy. And it'll thicken up, it'll thicken up here as it heats up, as the, as the heavy whipping cream heats up, it'll thicken up and it'll be really nice. See, this, get a good garlic press. See, see how much garlic's wasted in there? That's a, that's a lot of wasted garlic in there. Um, so that's why I have to do four cloves when I want two. So I, I'm gonna get a better garlic press. Uh, trust me, I, I'm, I'm going to. I don't, I don't like wasting that. I actually don't like peeling that much to get half. We're gonna stir this until it's thick and then we'll, we'll be back to add the Parmesan cheese. I got this new egg slicer from, it's a Favia egg slicer. And it's one that doesn't have, you have to pull it open. But look at that, that's that's actual metal. It's not the wires that you usually get. And it also does strawberries and mushrooms, okay? That's why I bought it. I'm tired of those wire ones. I have a wire one that you just, and it's cute, you know, it looks like a chicken, right? But but look at that, the wires are misplaced and everything. I, I don't, I, I, I'm so sick of those things. Right, so I went out, I got this off Amazon. It was, I think it was $14.99. Well worth it, because watch this. Watch this, you put, you put the mushroom right there. Look at this, watch this. There you go. Look at that, even, even slices every time. Don't touch your cast iron pan though, because it's hot, all right? But look at that, it just slices it, no problem at all. I did this one just a minute ago, and then, okay. So I'm gonna add four mushrooms to this. Four mushrooms. I'm not gonna overpower it because I don't want it to overpower. And then see, you put it in the dishwasher and then you put it in your drawer and, and it locks shut. But it works for eggs, strawberries. It works for mushrooms. Best thing ever. Um, this is actually the first time I'm using it, but it, it seems like it is well worth the $14.99 
plus shipping and handling. I mean, the shipping and handling was free too because it was on Amazon Prime. So it was uh, well worth it. And I'll keep you updated. If it breaks, I'll let you know. But man, it seems sturdy. It really does. That thing is, uh, I mean, look at that. Those, those things are probably about, uh, I'd say a quarter inch of metal and it just goes right in there and, and it slices real good. So I'll let you know about that. Of course, I added olive oil. I always have this. My wife had a hair, it's a color applicator for her hair. Uh, and I, I rinsed it out real good. Actually, I think I bought this one at the store myself. But, uh, and I always keep this filled with olive oil. So that way I can just, you know, put olive oil on anything and just spray it on there. It's really good. I've heard a lot of people using sriracha, um, the, the bottles. You just put a little bit of olive oil in it at the end of the sriracha. So you have a little bit of chili oil uh, and it, it adds a little spice to your stuff. I'm gonna do that too, but my wife doesn't like spice. So and the reason you wanna saute these and get rid of, you gotta get rid of some of the liquid before you put it in your Alfredo sauce. And mushrooms are full of liquid, like most vegetables. Um, so I wanna get off most of the liquid out of them, let them saute. And plus, when they saute on a cast iron pan, they really, they really get a good flavor to them too. You add a little bit of salt and pepper to them, and uh, you you can't beat a, a sauteed mushroom. It's really good. So add a little bit of salt. Don't want to overpower the the, the sauce with salt and pepper because that that'll just ruin it. You can add salt and pepper if you want to. I just don't want to. So right after this, I'm going to do the chicken on the same pan. So you can cut these up a little bit if you want. You know, cut them off right there. Saute them for a second. And that's gonna look, oh, it's gonna taste so good. So good. And of course, my Parmesan, my sauce is right here. As you can see, it's really, it's thickened up. It's looking good. It tastes wonderful. It really does. And I'm about to add these to the sauce. Just a second here. Should turn on my fan. All right, so I'm gonna take these and put them right into the sauce. It's gonna be a mushroom, chicken mushroom, spinach, garlic parmesan, fettuccine alfredo. That's a mouthful. All right, so we'll be back with the chicken. My water's boiling. Water's boiling, so I'm gonna add about three quarters of a pack of fettuccine noodles to the water. I'm not gonna break them. It's not a spaghetti noodle. I break my spaghetti noodles, but I'm not gonna break the fettuccine noodles. I'm just gonna lay them right like that for a second. Let the bottom kind of get softer. I added some salt. Um, salt is supposed to help break it down and make it softer faster. So, and then see it softening up right there. Get one of these. This little, uh, this little gym here I've had for years and it's a spaghetti, basically a spaghetti spatula. And it keeps it, uh, it, it see that? It, you can pick them up, separate them. It separates the, the noodles a lot better. I don't know, I, I, I hope you can find one like that. I, I don't know. I don't know if they make them. I haven't seen one in years, but I need to go to a kitchen store and see if, see if they do have them still. I'm just gonna break them up. Every once in a while you get in here about every minute or two and stir, just to make sure the noodles aren't sticking together. Uh, that way you don't need oil. Don't put oil in them because then your, your Alfredo sauce doesn't stick to them as well. And you want it to stick to the noodle. You definitely want it to stick to the noodle. So, and I'm gonna cover this and let it boil. Boil up and I'm gonna get to the chicken now. All right. I got the cast iron pan heated up. You're gonna need a pair of tongs probably for this. I'll get my tongs, I can't keep forgetting I put the tongs over here now. Okay, so I have a pair of tongs. I'm gonna start putting this chicken on here. See, this is the, that's the sound you wanna hear right there. That's the sound of success. That's awesome. So I'm lightly seasoning this. I, I'm gonna season it while it's on the pan. But yeah, you wanna lightly season it. Don't over season it. Um, don't over season it because it's going on the Alfredo. You don't want it to take away from that Alfredo, that take away that Alfredo taste. Um, so you don't want to overpower it. Um, I have a couple students at school. I asked them today how they make it and 
this one student, I, I didn't know she even knew how to cook, but she nailed it. She, she explained down to the tiniest detail how to make chicken alfredo. And I was just amazed or shocked. And uh, she, it was great. So it's a good thing other, you know, the youngsters are learning how to make food. It's, it's a great thing. I like that. I like that. All right, we're gonna, I'm not gonna bore you with all this frying stuff. So I'm gonna put you on speed, speed warp. See that I just lightly pepper, a little bit of pepper. Uh, just a little sprinkle of salt on there, and we're good to go. I'm putting you on time warp, and we'll get this chicken done quick. doing now is I am heating up the Alfredo sauce. See the mushrooms in there? Should put a few in there. Not very many. Just a few. And then I'm going to add a handful of spinach. Another thing is if you're, you consider yourself a cook and you do not have a cast iron pan or two of them. Um, I have two cast iron pans. I have that one and then I have a deeper dish one. See that? And uh, if you don't, and you consider yourself a cook, um, stop, okay? These are the pans, it will last forever. I will hand this down to my kids. And uh, I, I'm serious, I have wasted so much money on, uh, on, on Teflon pans, and as soon as they tip, you gotta throw them away. These metal pans, they're good. They're good for like sauces and everything, but. For frying, if you don't have a cast iron pan, stop calling yourself a cook. I'm just throwing that down there right now. I, I know I, I sometimes I do talk a lot of crap, but all right, so you're gonna take a handful of spinach and you're gonna throw it in here. Um, remember, spinach really bakes down. I mean, it really, really cooks down quickly. Once I add it to the hot liquid, it, you'll see. So this is a chicken this is an alfredo a garlic parmesan mushroom spinach alfredo and it is going to be magical right the chicken turned out absolutely wonderful on that cast iron pan and see that it just comes right apart and the flavor you can't beat the flavor off a cast iron pan uh, i don't care what you got it, it just it's just amazing. So there it is. There it is. It's gonna condense down a little bit more. And then I'm gonna put it on these fettuccine noodles and we are going to have a feast. All right, so we will be back for the tasting here in just a sec. Stay tuned. All right, let me recap real quick. Um, I'm gonna turn this pan off. We had about a half a cup of olive oil, about, um, two cloves of garlic, two cloves. Two cloves of garlic, you can cut, chop them up or you can use a, a garlic press or whatever you need. Um, then we had uh, two cups of heavy whipping cream, added it to it. Then we made some, uh, we put some Parmesan, probably about, probably about two ounces of Parmesan cheese that was already grated and packaged. It was, uh, it's, it's cheater Parmesan cheese, I don't grate my own. And then the mushrooms, I put about four mushrooms in there um, about a handful of spinach, and then uh, three quarters of a pack of fettuccine noodles, so three quarters of a pound of fettuccine noodles. I have some fettuccine noodles left over. I probably could have went with half a pack because it is just two of us eating. Um, there was a, there's actually enough for four, four people. So, but I eat, I eat quite a bit. Uh, you probably can't tell. So, and then two chicken breasts, which this would be left over. And this chicken is just amazing. And like I said, if you call yourself a cook and you don't have a cast iron pan, don't stop, stop calling yourself a cook. All right, because cast iron, the flavor you get out of a cast iron pan 
is ju it's just amazing. And there's so many videos on YouTube on how to season them, how to take care of them. You don't add soap to them. Soap, soap will strip them down. So if you need to strip it down, get some rust off it, you can soap it up and then re-season it. But there's so, there's so many videos out there. I'll probably do one on how to take care of a cast iron pan because I mean, I fried the mushrooms, I fried the chicken on here, and, and I, I just rinse it off, I water, scrape it off, and, and then add some oil to it. You never add soap. Never add soap, you don't put it in the dishwasher. It's the easiest pan to take care of. It, it's as good as Teflon. It'll last forever, literally forever. You will have this 100 years from now. Your kids or your grandkids can have it. It's just, it's a wonderful pan to have. It really is. So I, I'm going strictly cast iron next. I'm gonna get a, um, like a Dutch oven cast iron pan and everything. So I'm gonna try this out. Uh, um, a lot, you know, everybody knows I've been on keto for a long time. I came off it about two weeks ago because I wasn't losing weight as fast. So I wanted, I wanted to shock my body and I'm gonna go back on the keto after Thanksgiving, which is Thanksgiving's next week. So the only thing I really don't like about fettuccine noodles is they're about eight feet long. I'm not gonna break them. Um, so I'm gonna get this here and get a little bit of this spinach in here. Oh yeah, and then a little bit of that chicken right there. I'm gonna try it out. If I, oh, get off there, noodle. All right, and then there's a mushroom, everything. So there's the bite right there. It just, look how wonderful that looks. That is, it just sticks to it. I, of course, I didn't add any oil to the, the noodles. So that way it sticks better. All right, so. Mm. Mm. Wow. The salt and pepper on the, I just added salt and pepper to the chicken and the chicken is just, it's so good. So good. The spinach, I can taste the spinach a little bit. Um, the Parmesan cheese, the garlic. Um, this is a wonderful meal. You can get this done in a half an hour, half an hour or, or, or less. It's, it just, I think it takes water, longer to water the, 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 for the water to boil and, and then you have to fry it, you know, grill the chicken. But the Alfredo sauce, you can get that done in five minutes. So, all right, that's it for this, this edition of Horner's Sunday Kitchen. I hope you learned something. I hope you love this recipe. It's a wonderful recipe. I'll put it down in the, in the description. And uh, until next time. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, I try, try to subscribe. It's that little button. All right, and then hit the notification button and you'll, you'll be notified when we post any videos, all right? So you have a great day, stay safe out there, and I'll see you next Sunday.